Earlier this week, Google announced that Android 16 is available and starting to roll out to Pixel owners using a Pixel 6 or newer. Android 16 is laying the foundation for the new Material 3 Expressive Design Language, which is expected in September of this year. Material 3 Expressive is supposed to bring us a revamped quick settings panel, physics-based animations, interesting, uh, dynamic color schemes, background blur effects, and more. There's an optional 30-second video that we can watch. Are you queuing that? No. This no. Is just hilarious because someone was updating this in real time. And now it's incorrect for a different reason. Ah, no. Session no. Attacks. See, first Session. party resources can lie. Oh, I think, shoot. I sorry, think sorry, I, I was, uh, no, sorry, 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 I was muted. I, think I was I pointing right. out that now it's wrong for a completely new reason. Session token hijacking account uh, I, attack. I think I said it right, but I don't remember. Anyways, uh, here's, oh, here's our unlisted video. 30 second video. Dude, are designs getting more interesting again? Are we out of the dark ages of design? Maybe? The top menu still seems too giant. Go back to Android 10. There's like animations and stuff and It's things, not clear, I don't like it. Things aren't like just squares everywhere and boring. It's look, pretty. things look interesting. That's so exciting! <sighs> Me too, but I'm exciting that this seems to be happening a little bit. I like iOS 26 better. Needs more glass. I was muted. Oh. Uh, Android 16 is also getting a desktop mode. Uh, oh, it's Samsung DeX. But oh, apparently again, they've worked closely with Samsung. Later this year. Oh, okay. Google did state what he just said. Uh, this will give you the ability to move and resize multiple apps in Windows, just like a desktop. This will also be available to supported phones when connected to a dock or external display, possibly behind a developer option setting. Meanwhile, Graphene OS posted that they received information that AOSP, the Android Open Source Project, could be discontinued. Uh, a screenshot of the claim is what looks like a Discord screenshot. Uh, I got it. Boop. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Um, so them basically saying that they received said information. Um, yeah. We'll see if that's true or not. That would probably be bad. Uh, their source stated that the first step would be Android 16 dropping, but like that's not um, dropping the Pixel repositories. Uh, which appears to be what happened. No driver binaries available past Android 15. Ooh. Um, the information has also been taken out of context, though, in numerous places. Here's a direct reply from Graphene OS on Reddit. This information doesn't come from Graphene OS. If oh. you read the messages which are taken out of context, it states that we are relaying information someone else oh, yeah, provided yeah. to us. Yeah, yeah. Cool. Well, not cool, but... Yeah. Uh, this certainly wouldn't help them in their current antitrust lawsuits. Yeah. That's a good point. And if Android did go closed source, it would likely make many projects much more difficult, if yeah. not impossible for outside companies, such as this Android phone that claims compatibility with the Apple Watch. What? Uh, this is the Vivo X Fold 5. It's kind of cool. All right. Well, I hope not. Open source is definitely cool when yes. our corporate overlords commit to it and contribute to it. And Google has, in some ways, been not great about it, and in other ways, been super amazing, awesome, great. And AOSP is one of the super amazing, awesome, great things that Google has done over the years. 